The daily census is the most important part of the migration monitoring program. Each morning, starting one hour after sunrise, staff and volunteers conduct a 90-minute walk along a designated route and record all the birds they see and hear. It requires a quick eye and a keen ear. You need to be able to recognize the various birds along the route, not only by sight, but also by sound. Another oriole. It sounds like a rose-breasted grosbeak. So, a few more red wings. Okay. We will always do the census except during lightning storms effectively and it really does represent the best snapshot of the overall activity in our count area and we do have a very clearly delineated count area. It gives us a sort of an overview of activity on the day that the banding alone or our other visual observations aren't able to. The walk takes observers through three distinct ecosystems each with their own distinct bird life. The first section takes us through some of the last remaining Carolinian forests in Canada. Lots of songbirds concentrate here, especially in May and again from late August to October when there's a steady food supply. Further on, a small wetland hosts a variety of water birds and serves as important shelter for many migrant species. Some are native to the island, but many more are just passing through. I think a lot of the sparrows have already have already migrated through the area, except for the white trucks maybe. Mm -hmm. And the ducks there. Yeah, oh, that's, that's true, yeah, compared to even last week. Yeah, the I census so. ends with a kilometer long walk along the shore. This offers good views of migrants flying over the lake and a chance to observe many species along the forest edge. Kind of down low in the... The information we gather on these daily walks adds to our understanding of the migratory birds on the island on a day-by-day -day and week-by-week -week basis. It's information that is very consistent. It starts at the same time each day. It ends at the same time. It's the same route and things. So again, the premise is, is that by being consistent in that way, that over a long time frame, not a year or two, but, but over a period of, of, say, the 10 years, which we're coming up to, it, it is a method of looking at, at trends in, in numbers of songbirds. And so that, that's, again, that is, um, occupies a, a good part of our, of our the work.